People just love to fly. I'm one of them. It gives me a real kick, especially the view. Everything looks so still and quiet from up here. Sometimes you can barely see the big cities, much less the small towns. But they're all down there. Texas and Texans. Texas towns and Texas cities. All busy. Busy remembering. Busy forgetting. Busy building and busy tearing down. Sometimes it all gets too busy to suit me. Too many people, not enough time to live. Today they are just too busy. Tomorrow they should learn how to slow down and live and make a new day. As an adult, I agree with you. Jesus, you know, must have felt the same way. He knew the importance of getting away occasionally and changing his routine. Episcopalians in the Diocese of Dallas are grateful that they have a place out in the country called Camp Crucis. There are many reasons why you teenagers and so many others like to come here so often. Remember last summer? While you're flying along up there, think about Camp Crucis. What do you remember most? Well, I remember that Camp Crucis is a lot like many other great camps. Lots of people, campers, counselors, city people, country folks, plenty of good food for plenty of hungry mouths, carefully cooked and served three times a day. The facilities are quite good. Some of them were made possible by an early spring work weekend of future summer campers. The pool is a natural for instant popularity. Maybe it's the cool water that feels so great during our hot Texas summers. You can relax with horseshoes if you like. Or take a canoe ride. For those more energetic moments, there's volleyball. And football, if you can call it that. And a lot of great games, like tennis. Or an unexpected swim. Nobody beats Camp Cruces for good, clean competition, where <clears throat> tribal differences are readily settled among the more sophisticated members of the camp. the little kids too. There really is something for just about everybody from the first grade up. And not all counselors are as indifferent as this one. There are 
a thousand ways to cool off and the going gets rough and hot. You can get help for a bad sunburn and you can learn how to become a great artist all in one day at Camp Cruces. High point is the arrival of mail from home. You can read what it's like back in town or catch up on all the news. Maybe, if you're lucky, you'll get a package from home, too. It's called Camp Cruces and it's great. It's fun, it's different, it's everything you expected, and much more. There's nothing like it anywhere in Texas. After you've been at Camp Cruces a few days, you realize something. It's more than just a camp, much more. It's become a way of life, almost a model for your whole life. It's a celebration of living. We have time to think, time to get to know people, time to get to know yourself. That's pretty important. It's not an escape, it's far from that. Crucis gives us a deep and meaningful look into reality, where our problems are faced squarely. We search for the answers, and more often than not, we find them. Crucis is where two people have both the time and the desire to talk to each other. It's where people are interested in you and what you enjoy. All this is offered to God each day at our wonderful celebrations of the Holy Eucharist. On the top of a hill which supports our outdoor chapel and overlooks the camp, an inspiring and meaningful relationship with God is found. Our worship here is fresh and very much today, graced with the vast outdoors and the awareness of the presence of God. Something very special happens when we break bread together. People are no longer just faces, but friends you know and care about. It all adds up to something pretty wonderful. Beside us to guide us, as they say in the hymn, are the clergy directors and assistants, priests from the diocese who make camp come alive for all of us. They are very special and are soon a part of our lives. Every day we sit down with our clergy for a while and we listen, we talk, we share, we look, we watch, we learn, we grow, and we pray. Those bright beams of Christian fellowship, concern and trust, that shine so brightly at Camp Crucis, first began to appear in the youngest camps. It's unmistakable. Warmth and togetherness entangled with sunburned smiles and a never-failing humor express the bonds of Christian love at Camp Cruces. This is a real take-home item. We are not living in a hidden fantasy locked away in some forest-covered sanctuary where the outside world is forgotten, but we are members of a community who come to know each other personally, have fun together, and try to help each other work through some of the basic questions about life. 
When you leave Camp Cruces, you are a changed person. It's hard to know exactly how or when, but you've changed for the better. Finally, I would call Camp Cruces a memory maker. It's impossible to leave without an abundance of memories. You remember that you were not hurried, that you had fun, time to think, to get to know yourself and some other people too. Last summer was great. Now I wait for this year, my return to Cruces, to make a new day. The sun make the sun shine lazy. Oh, oh, oh. 